response and in the last week, I think it was, we had another conversation about that too. Mm -hmm. Now, when people sign up and they come in and they get on, on my list, the first 31 days is covered by MLSP. Right. And then from there on, I have to build some kind of a series of emails to go to that list. Well, you have to be composing emails and sending it out. You don't have to build a series of emails. Okay. Well, anyways, putting them together. Yeah. Now, where do I get that information from to compose those letters? You'll be sending them your video. That's why I'm trying to get you in the habit of making the content. Sending them your video. Oh, go back again. I gotta turn turn your voice up. Go ahead. Do that again. Um, you'll be sending them your content. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> sending them the videos that you're making. You'll be sending them the blog posts that you're writing. You'll be sending them invites to the uh, Tuesday and Wednesday night hangouts. Well, invites to Tuesday and Wednesday hangouts. Okay. Every blog post, every video. Every video, blog post. Oh, excuse me. Okay. And that's pretty much what you're going to send out. Okay. Got it. Yeah. That was easier than I thought it was going to be, at least it sounds like one of them. I, well, I think you do that a lot. I think you like to complicate things. I got probably true. But that's all right. Okay. Because then it's a relief when it's easier. <laughs> okay. Um, the other thing I have in my list here is, did you add Piping Rock affiliate link to your blog websites? Um, I think I did on my um, release and increase. Let me see. Pretty sure I did. Because I was looking at, I was, I signed up on Piping Rock today because um, I was looking for vitamin and stuff for the girls. And then when I got down to the bottom of the page, it was talking about affiliate networking. Yeah. Um, I didn't actually add them straight up to my blog. I didn't put a banner in. I know I did for the Thrive Market and the uh, the keto lady that I like. However, um, I didn't add it in there. I have it in a blog post, and I, I talked about it on, on Facebook. But. Okay. but that is... But, you know, it depends on what, like, you, well, you want to be, be an affiliate with them, right? Yeah. So then. I have to go to that special disclaimer at the bottom for this company, uh, Rakuten Link Share Affiliate Network or something like that. It's at the bottom of the page. Bottom of what page? The bottom of the page for, God, typing up. Oh, my word. It's on it's on their website. Okay. okay. You get down to the bottom. It says to be in it, to become an affiliate. Click on this and we'll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. What made me think of that today was I was putting together my third section of my um, blog post on resource pages. <clears throat> and what I wanted to do as part of my. Oh, shit. I'm cleaning the office too. <laughs> okay, and um, on my resource page, I have a place for um, a couple of different things. Web links, local real resources, mm -hmm. companies or something like that, and then tools. Okay. And... Um, under the web links, uh, or, and I was thinking about adding one also for, I either use web links or the term affiliate links or something like that. I, I like the word web links better than affiliates. Even though I'm going to be using um, Well, what does web links mean? Well, to me, um, web links is 
um, it can be two things. Web links can be like, for instance, a link to one of my blog posts. Okay, like for instance, if I pick the ones that were the highest, got the most traffic out of them and what have you, um, and use those as web links with something that people could link on to go and see the different types of blogs I have and stuff like that. <clears throat> that's, that's what I found web links to be. Um, the other thing is, I don't know if you want to call them, I guess you'd call them affiliate links, or as I can call them, uh, um, income stream, or uh, extra income. Or, or I don't want to use income because it sounds like I'm selling stuff. How about, how about resources, online resources in which I'm affiliated with? Okay, to include an OSP. And then you could make um like subsections like business links, mm -hmm. um, health and wellness links, mm -hmm. popular blog posts, um, yeah, things like that. So. So then under your health and wellness links, you could put your piping rock. You could put your beach body link. Yeah. Um, any other kind of health and wellness things you got, you know, that you might be affiliated with. With your, um, your web, your uh, business links, you could get response affiliate, MLSP, um, three minute expert. I would, I would list those two. What was the last one? Three minute expert. Oh, three minute expert. Yeah. All the courses that, that you own, I would definitely be working on selling those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Um, and because that's when I, uh, why I, <clears throat> I thought about signing up for this um, web link for pet supplies, you know, or something like that. Yeah, that could be included with um, health and wellness. Health and wellness for or a family or um, nutritional family, family something or two yeah yeah, um, yeah. okay so I just think that the term web links is redundant because a link is on the web already people should already know that okay you wouldn't be putting a link to something that's not on the web yeah no not on the web or on contained in my Right. Unless it is a local resource and they aren't on the web, this would be like, you know, local to Conway area, my favorite hardware store, my favorite mm -hmm. coffee shop, my favorite, I and mean, you could really do stuff like that. I mean, why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, my favorite beach, and you would give the address to the beach that you like the best, or your favorite hiking trail, your favorite biking route. Mm -hmm. Resources can be everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. I started out with an itty bitty list and it's now about almost a full page. So that's fine. That's good. Yeah. The more the merrier. Absolutely. I, I also thought about uh, well, this um, um, uh, links for recipes and such. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, or like on, on my link to uh, Pinterest, where I have my Shakeology board and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Or I do something with it. I'll run it by you first and make sure I got everything, or didn't get everything. Or yeah. Anything that you're an affiliate with, get in there. And when you when you write at the top, you know, resources I'm affiliated with. They are, you know, well, at the bottom, you could do your disclaimer, whatever, like you may or may not be receiving commissions based on, you know, that you always want to give a may or may not, because there's going to be resources that are not necessarily affiliates that you want to recommend people to, mm -hmm. but you have to cover everything kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I also have to include a disclosure or disclaimer at the bottom too. So. Yeah. 
<laughs> and those those that disclaimer will say may or may not. It usually does. Okay. <clears throat> Absolutely. So you got your suitcase back? Uh, I I got some stuff here packed. I got some clothes in there. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I gotta bring uh. I gotta bring a bunch of things like I, like. If I go without coffee or can't find coffee that I like, even though I drink like pretty shitty coffee, but I don't want to, like I drank Folger, Folger's Instant in the red can mm -hmm. because it's consistently always good and I don't waste, you know how coffee gets old in a pot? Mm -hmm. There's no waste. I only drink what I make. Mm -hmm. um, and when you are on the road, you walk into a place, you get a cup of coffee and it tastes great and it's super strong. Next thing you know, you're living in the bathroom. <laughs> so I got. I said, "What would be easier than just hot water?" Just like I already do. So I got a creamer and a coffee. I got to bring that. I got to bring coconut oil because I'm pretty sure no one's gonna have that. And God forbid I get hungry. Peanut butter because I'm not eating chips and salty food. And yep. yeah, <laughs> I, I'm a little bit spoiled. I think. <laughs> No, you're not spoiled. It's just you've got yourself into a routine, a healthy routine, and you don't worry about it. That's understandable. It's interesting. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. my God. And then, what, oh, I wash, I brush my teeth with um, baking soda. So I have a jar of baking soda. Oh, man. I'm a strange bird. No, not really. My mother, every day of her life, Brush your teeth with baking soda. Yeah. I wish I had every day in my life. I wouldn't have half the problems that I have in my teeth. He never went to a dentist until she was 73 years old. Another good thing. Yeah. I have um, fluorosis. You have what? Fluorosis of the teeth. What is it? That is a, um, my teeth have become weakened by the amount of fluoride that I've put on I've always brushed my teeth within 20 minutes of eating, just like they told you in school, you know? Yeah. Always, 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 always. Never could afford a dentist, you know? We never had a lot of money, so I always made sure I was really good on hygiene with the teeth. You see them, right? Look at this. I mean, Does water down there have fluoride in it? Huh? Does your water in Florida have fluoride Florida in it? Florida is the last state without fluoride in the water. No, ours don't either. Really? That's no, good. No, don't. Fluoride is bad. Oh, yeah. And the crazy thing about it is, is when we lived up in um, Virginia, I was forever going to a dentist. Every couple of months, I was in for a dentist, I, you know, with crowns and this and that and every other goddamn thing. Since we moved here, I've been there twice. Yep. Because I'm not in a, in a floor, in a highly, I might have some floor, but it's not as high as it was there. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, the last time... Because now, when I get a bad toothache, if I can afford it, I just go get it pulled. Because mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to full dentures. I'm, I'm down with that. The sooner the better. And uh, the last dentist, and he was like, Jesus, he's looking at my mouth. He's like, what is going And he was like, you have like the worst case of fluorosis I've ever seen. I'm like, so I am right. Because I, I was self-diagnosed fluorosis. Because I knew what it looked like, you know. And he was like, oh, my God. And I said, I have been obsessed with dental hygiene since I was, since I could, I was old enough to brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. I've always flossed, brushed, always took care of my teeth. Yeah. Yeah. My teeth are rotting out of my head. <laughs> so now it's, it's baking soda. Sometimes I'll add an essential oil to it, you know, to make it taste better. But I'm used to it. I'm, whatever. <laughs> I'm good. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't brush my teeth with something else. Never again. My daughter likes it with the coconut oil in it. I don't. I like it to be powdery. I don't want it to be pasty. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's a, there's a couple of strange things I noticed, and I have to I have to have that stuff. <laughs> okay, I was looking on my on my notes from last week, and um, I didn't see anything where we, what we were going to do tonight, but. I think I think what I had planned on doing tonight was kind of discussing a little bit about um, getting the book promoted a little bit more. 
and I was thinking of, well, because, well, I'm, I'm bringing the book on my travel, so I'm going to be taking pictures of myself with the book in the different places I travel to. That's right. <laughs> and um, so what I was thinking of, because I was thinking of doing that, right? Like saying, you know, like a book tour, taking Jill's book on a book tour, is um, actually once a week reading one of the chapters in there and doing a video about the person that is in the chapter and then offering the book at the end. So I think you should be doing that. Kind of like a book review chapter by chapter. And you don't have to read the chapter to them. You don't want to do that. But, you know, just say one of the, one of the authors of the book, this is their chapter, and I was really impressed with their story or whatever. Or maybe you're not impressed with the story. You could be honest. You could be like, or, what you know, and just talk about a little bit what they do, what their message was, what they were trying to share with people. Mm -hmm. And uh, then plug your, plug your book. Get them on that list. We want to get them on the list. So if you, if you do that with every chapter, over the course of how, how many chapters are there in the book? 30. 30. Um, 30 series or something like that. Okay, so 30 some odd week, uh, weeks. You could, if you put five people on your list a week with, the, with that video, mm -hmm. and of course that accumulates because you might not get them that week, but you might get them in a couple other weeks um, from that video, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So what's five times 30 is what? That's a lot of people on your list. Okay. So let's do a video per week on each chapter in the book. Yes. And talk about um, basically how you relate to the chapter, how you feel about it personally. How um, how it inspires you. Uh, it inspires I like that. Inspires me. Inspires me. Okay. There were some some of those chapters that were more of an inspiration than others, but yeah, okay. all right. I'm sure there I'm sure there are. I mean, they're all gonna they're all probably gonna be really great to a point, and some are gonna be more. They're gonna you're gonna feel it more. Mm -hmm. But this is one thing that we can be pretty sure that no one else is doing right now, mm -hmm. and that is doing what you're gonna do with that book. Okay. You will be leveraging not only Jack Hanfield's name, but you'll be leveraging every person in that book okay. and um, that'll get them reading your chapter because they'll start not, some people have Google alerts on their own name you know what I mean that'll get them um, seeing your chapter more looking into more of you and you looking into more of them and then at the same time you, you will get more subscribers and just at the end of it just say you know I just want to make sure you know if you guys don't have this book already I can give it to you for free have a completely the full blown ebook for you right here at this link, and then don't even say anything anymore. Let them go to that link and let them talk. See your other video where you offer the hardcover, mm -hmm. and then you, before you know it, those will be gone, and you just take that video out and put in the. We'll put in another video at that point to offer them something else that's congruent with what you're, you know, what you're talking about. So, I think that's a really good idea. What do you think? I I, I think it's a good idea also. And I'm sure you probably already thought of it. It's just been like, what, what does Tara want me to do? What am I doing? Ah. Well, no, it's not, not just what does Tara want me to do. It's just that I've been doing everything. concentrating and trying to get things up and running properly and what have you. And yeah. Stuff like that. Because when I read a book, I've usually got a book in one hand and a yellow book in another. <laughs> You know, because there's certain things in there that I want to, that I highlight some of the books. You know, other, unless it's a James Patterson book, I don't highlight his books, but, you know, <laughs> I, I, which I love his books. Oh my God. I, I could sit down all day long. And just... He does um, spy books, right? Military spy books? Yeah. 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 My dad liked him a lot. Yeah. I probably would, too. I, I haven't read a novel in a long time. Yeah. I really should. Reading novels is actually good for you. Well, I try. I, try, I look at it this way. I'm, I'm always reading. I'm almost every day I'm reading something out of a, a book to learn more about what I'm training myself to do. Right. Then I get to the point where it's like, 
feel burnt or whatever. I need something different. But yeah. I love to read, okay? So I'll just pick up one of his books and whatever. You know what I used to do in college, and this is probably something I should do now, because I really, like it's almost sometimes you get so burnt on it, you don't even read anything. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so yeah. <clears throat> what I used to do is I always kept one book in the bathroom. Got to have well, a, I usually have at least three going at one time. Yeah. I, yeah, I had them different places in the house. Like if I was in this area, mm -hmm. that would be the book I'd reach for. Now, when school was on, when I was in classes, all those books got put down. Mm -hmm. um, magazine or trade style books, like, because I, not, tra well, I guess you would call it like trade style magazines or cliff notes and shit like that would be in the bathroom. And then it would be only texts mm -hmm. or historical, because I like history and sociology and all that shit. And I was always focused on that. So. It would have to be something that would be beneficial or a suggested reading in the course. Mm -hmm. but I wouldn't allow myself any fiction until total break time. I, I just I was so strict with it. And then during like if I had a break and I had my papers done and didn't have to because I usually because of the way I studied didn't have much to worry about. I just would sit down and write it. Mm -hmm. um, I would go crazy on nonfiction, and I'm a Stephen King lover. Uh -huh. Stephen King. Yeah. Uh, but there's quite a few people that I like that I, I should. I, I would like to read some Anne Rand. Some what? Anne Rand. Anne Rand. Mm -hmm. Like I love to read Atlas Shrugs. Like I want to read that. I have the Fountainhead. I just found it because I've been cleaning stuff out of the garage. I got some classics in that garage. I'm like, oh my god, I've got some reading to do. <laughs> Holy moly. But yeah, I need to get some fiction in my life too. Poppy, what's going on? Hi, Poppy. Hey. Do you see that puppy? You don't see him. Hi, Puppy. Can you say hi to her? Hi. Oh my God, it's so she's so cute. Her favorite spot is under the desk. Yes. That used to be a Ch Charlie's favorite spot, but he'd get right under my leg, so my knees would be all bent. Mm -hmm. No. Addison only goes under there when it's thunder and lightning, and I don't know why, because it's like metal, and it's right next to the wall, and a lot of electricity going on. She's cute, though. She's watching me pack. She's like, ah, I don't think so. I'm like, no, I really am. I'm going. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't leave the words like that. We tell them we're going to work. <laughs> yep. My sister-in-law used to do that with her dogs all the time. I thought she was crazy. For them. What? But if they, they don't get so spaced out when you're going that way. What, what did she do? Nothing. She just gives them a kiss and says, okay, I'm going to work. Okay? That, that way they know or they sense that you're not going to be gone very really long. Okay? And uh, other areas if you don't. <laughs> yeah. I used to do that with my daughter when she was little. In the, Anywhere I went, I was going to work. Everywhere. Because then they worry so much, then the house smells like doggies. Yeah. No, they, uh, they, they pretty much, they, they understand what's going on. Charlie was the first to know. And uh, my mom's been leaving her bedroom door open for the past couple of days. They've all, like, Charlie and Lucy going in there, hanging out with her. Like, they, they know what's up. Mm -hmm. They know. Mm -hmm. Addison, I don't, well, because up until, like, now, we weren't 100% sure that she couldn't go with us. Because Suzanne was trying to make room in the car yeah. so that I could bring her, which would be so fucking awesome. But... I, I thought she's staying and she's pissed. Mm -hmm. She's a good girl though. You're good. Mm -hmm. My mom's doing good. She's doing all the, she's doing the power lunch hour. She did that today. She, she'd be like, Oh my God, this is terrible. I'm like, someone's got to do it while I'm gone. I'm not going to have a computer. <laughs> she's like, but I don't know. I said, it's really just a matter of just 
pretending you know how, and eventually it'll it'll come out, and she did fine. I was like, you're doing great. But yeah. So that yeah, I wanted to talk about that and doing that, and I I figured you probably hadn't been thinking about that. Mm -hmm. And just a, just a really good way to to get everything you can out of that book, and um, let people know that you're talking about the book still, mm -hmm. and still promoting it, still promoting it, because um, the book should it should be more than what it is so far. It's got to be really big for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. A, I'm sure you had a significant investment. And you've had significant time working on it. Well, not only that, but I've already started about started thinking about the next. Mm -hmm. the next only it won't be a full blown hardcover book. It'll probably just be an ebook. Mm -hmm. But that's um, but, um you know, so I've started thinking about that already. It's awesome. I yeah. love it. So anyhow. Doesn't have to be a monster, just you know. <clears throat> Very cool. So I don't know, um how how are you doing with your uh the Octo Suite? Have you been playing with that? No, I didn't play with that yet. Um I was uh what the Oh, yesterday and today both I was um working on my follow followers because I got a boatload of people following me on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I mean, every day I look at it, there's another three, four on Twitter. Okay? So when, when I see that I have new people on Twitter, <clears throat> I right click them and look them up to see what you know they are and whatever. If it's something I would be interested in doing, then I follow them. Mm -hmm. and whatever. So I'm taking advantage of those kinds of things. I mean, Good. Yeah. Yeah, that can never hurt. That's always good. Yeah. I've been uh I've been getting tons of, oh we had a power lunch hour result. Um during the power lunch hour, somebody reached out to them and it was uh, one of the people on this day where they reached out was like, Hey, we haven't talked to you forever, blah blah blah. What's that friend anniversary or whatever? And uh they were like, Oh my gosh. They ended up joining both in their business and the the MLSP. Oh, good job, girl. I was like, what? That is awesome. Under you, they join? No. One of the people that are using the power lunch hour. Oh, okay. So that's that's a good thing. I like that. The more people... Oh, I, I definitely need new sign-ups, man. Yeah. Oh, my God. But it's been slow. I think I think that this trip actually will help juice that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But... um. I, for whatever reason, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm really that. I, well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody goes through these things. Yeah. And that's what it is. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, when I went, I went to look and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Freaking. Because, uh, one of my people pay their MLSP on the 30th, right? But it doesn't always go through on the 30th. Sometimes it's after. So they it didn't go through on the 30th. So my first, like, it's it's weird. Like, so I'm probably not getting a paycheck this freaking month. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. So need fresh people, need some new stuff going on. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to be focusing a little bit on building more of, building up a little bit more of the coaching, you know what I mean? And getting more, uh, what is it, formalized with it, like yeah. streamlined. Mm -hmm. I've got the uh, Ray Higdon coaching course and just go over that again and again and again until I, you know, figure out, because I, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at accountability coaching, and I, I know a whole bunch of stuff I can help people learn. Yeah. I mean, I'm certainly not running around saying I'm going to make you a millionaire because that's, that's silly. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. I think so. I think that's going to be. I know you've helped me a lot. 
Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you, you giving me a shout out there on social media. That made me feel really good. I shared it. I was like, look, she loves me. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that's what's going down. Yeah. Well, it, it's it, it's a, a win-win for both of us. I mean, you're helping me, and I'm helping you, and you know, it, we've become friends through the time and what have you. And we're building a, a, a and it's just it's all about building those relationships with people. Yep. Sort of boils down to someone that you can um, <coughs> you're comfortable with, and that you. Um, and work with. I mean, there's some people that are like bouncing off the walls all the time, you know, and they're banging your head in. You got to do this, this, this. No, that ain't my style. I'm sorry. Yeah. The harder you bang my head, the more I'm going to fight. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, yeah, in the same way. Like there, there can be to a point, and then there's two. There's a point where I'm like, uh, no. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, like I love Lisa, but I can't take her telling me what to do very much. Mm -hmm. I could never hire her as a coach. Mm -hmm. I feel like, I no. Mm -hmm. I, I, other people can be harder on me. And it's just really just about, and you, you know, yeah, we have to have a push. We do. Because we have to kind of like take that the ego out of it kind of thing. You know, like when we want to push back at somebody that's trying to teach us something, oftentimes it's our own ego saying, I don't think so. Yeah, um, However, it's also going to be someone that you can take it from. Yeah. I meant to tell you the other day that um, the gal that's with underneath um, Diane, Linda, 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 what the hell? Linda Bamba? Yeah, she's, um, she friended me and she's following me. For whatever the reason may be, I don't care. <laughs> I look at it this way: you, I, you know, you, you got, you try to learn and look at what other people are doing and to see it to help to make, you know, maybe there might be some tidbits there that you can pick up or whatever. Yeah, <clears throat> there might be something there. Anytime I've ever seen <clears throat> what she's done, or I've just always felt like, well, she's spamming, and that's what we're trying not to do, you know, but. At the same time, maybe I should look again. Maybe you know what I mean. It's just it's been a long time since I looked at her. Mm -hmm. There was a, there was a while there where she was being edified a lot, and when she was talking, I'm like, "Why are you letting her tell these people to do it this way?" I could not understand. But I haven't seen her in so long. Mm -hmm. I'm friends with her. I know she's there, mm -hmm. but I haven't seen her in so long. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Never spammed me directly. She's never like come to me and been like, hey, mm. it's amazing. You know, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Some people that will do that, that think they can. Mm -hmm. That's crazy sauce. It's cra I, I can't, I, today I had a, a guy, he's like a, he's like an eight figure earner. Like he's, I had said happy birthday to him. I've been friends with him forever and we never talk or anything like that. He's just one of those people. It's one of my millionaire collections is what I call him. And he said, oh, thank you so much. And then bleh, and he spammed and gave me links and shit. I'm like, you can't be a millionaire if that's what you're doing. That is not absolutely not happening. You're full of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not, that's not strategically marketing anything. I don't know. Maybe some people just think they can. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's very strange. Very strange thing. I gotta let my dog out. I'll be right back. He's hollering at me. So he do not go potty on the floor. Oh, and I got my avocados too. For my trip. <laughs> Charlie. Why are you just crying at me to lay out? There we go.
Monday, right? Did you make a picture or an event for the Wednesday night hangout? No. Let's do it. You want to do it? You ready? I guess I'm not as ready as I'm going to be. All right. Okay. Well, I need to share. Yeah. There you are. <clears throat> then I need to go to my in box. Social me media Wonder Woman. Huh? Social media Wonder Woman. That'll be a great copy. Yeah. And I going to make you artwork while you make sure the size is right. Oh. I don't think I even signed up for it. Bad girl, Jay. I always forget to. I'll go looking for the email that I'm supposed to have, you know, and I'll be like, oh, I guess I haven't done that yet. Well, you know, because uh, I get so damn much email, what I... Um, I, when I get, like, emails from you and... Mm -hmm. What the hell is this? Oh, food. Oh, my God. Anyways, if it's something I want to... I can do right then and there, I'll do it. Okay, but if it's something I want to look at maybe later on in the afternoon, I go uh -huh. to the email and I put stars on stuff, okay? And then I, later on in the afternoon or in the evening, I'll go back and I read them all and whatever. <coughs> Where did that come from? What, did, what happened? Okay. Um, and this is reformed. <clears throat> okay, we're going to take the free training. Yep. Ooh. So all, all three lines? Yeah, well, let me read that. Let me see, maybe I got, did I get that? <clears throat> I'm going to send you something. Um, are you logged into Facebook? No. Okay. I'm going to, I like this copy. Use this. Let me see. Are you? Did you see this post I put in here about where I had lunch today? No, I didn't. The president of our network group called me this morning about 10 o'clock. Uh huh. And, uh, what are you doing for lunch? I said, well, I don't normally eat lunch. Why? Oh, well, good. We'll go today. And I said, excuse me. He goes, yeah, I want you to go to lunch with me. And I said, okay, what's up? I'll see you. <laughs> you thought he was going to be up to something. Yeah. He said, no, no, no. He said, I just want to talk to you about uh, real estate and how things are going and uh, if you're getting much value out of the group and just general stuff. I said, okay, fine. So we went to Applebee's and I had a salad and we sat there for about an hour and talked. It was a really nice, you know, laid back thing. But anyway. Cool. <clears throat> okay, what's this thing over here in the message that we got? That's copy I like. Huh? That's copy that I like that I think you should use. For everything? What do you mean for everything? Well, here where it starts out, how different would your life, is, would your business be? 
Yes. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all of that. But when you paste it onto the 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 uh, post, I want you to take the MLSP out at the bottom. So just go ahead and copy all of that. Including this picture? What picture? Where it says Home Based Business Pro? Oh. No, just the text. Yeah. That's a cold message. I'm going to make you a picture right now. Okay. And then all of that goes in here in, in the post. Yes. Mm -hmm. And let me go ahead and add text. And then we need to go grab your link. Um, World class one. MLSP. I'm going to add cursor to this though. No, you want to make sure it's the one that builds your list. So you have to log into MLSP to find that one. Okay. Good. Yeah. Because there's two different ones. One doesn't build your list and one does. You definitely want the one that builds your list. <clears throat> Hang on here, I'm going to find my cheat sheet. And the last Hope you turn the lights on, Jill. <laughs> Charles, you have to wait one second. Oh, he's so upset. He's like, I can't believe you've left me out here. What's going on? Charles, just one second. I, I got, I'm doing something really fancy right now, and you can't disturb me when I do fancy things. Is the outside? Yeah. He's demanding. Oh, yeah, I know. So is mine. Like, I'm done being out here. Well, all right then. Okay. Websites. You want to go to the um, weekly schedule on the right hand. Let me see your screen. I can see your screen over on the right underneath my video where my picture is. Yeah. It says also click here to our weekly class schedule. No, not that, the one below it. Where are you going? It's right there. You, you were, where are you going? When is this training over there? Underneath that, says also click here. Yeah, that's where you get the link. And then just scroll to Wednesday and we got Wednesday. See the one that says use this link if you want leads to go to your personal autoresponder list? That's the link you got to use. Well, you learn something new every day, Jill. Huh. Okay. It's weeklywebinars.org, right? Okay. Because I'm, I'm making you an image at the same time, so I want to make sure it's the same. Word. So in, in lieu of this um, cruiser, 
just end it yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But don't don't do anything yet. And click out of that webinar registration. I'm I'm making you a picture. Okay. I didn't do nothing. It just came up. I know. I know. Okay. I am almost done. You will have an original image nobody else will have. Not even I. Not even I. <laughs> Mine is a little similar, but not completely similar. Uh, Charlie, I am like so almost done. So as soon as I'm almost done, you can come in. I'm going to, this is going to be so beautiful. You're going to be so happy. I mean, <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm like, oh my God, it's so awesome. Okay. And grab the color. Copy. Okay, I think that's the color. Almost. Okay, so it's cruiser, C R U I Z E R uh -huh. dot weekly webinars. Uh -huh. At or okay. <clears throat> this is, do you hear him? He's so confused. He doesn't understand what's happened. <laughs> Mommy, you're punishing me. He thinks so. He thinks I am. Oh, that's so friggin' beautiful. Okay. Just let me, I need to make that a little bit bigger. Sometimes fonts really, really make me crazy. There we go, I think I got it. All right, I'm saving this picture, I'm sending it to you. PNG, and this is Jessica Jill. Okay. This is awesome. I'm so excited. And here's the picture. My mom's going to be jealous. Why? Because she's going to know I made that for you. Oh, no. And she's going to be like, where is mine? You never make me one. <laughs> All right. Now let me watch what you got going on there. Okay, so now click on that picture. Right click? Just uh, left click. Okay, got it. And download it. Uh, I haven't finished my post. Do you want to leave? Okay, stay on this page. Stay on this page. Now right click, right click and save image as. It shouldn't be taking you off the page. Save images. There we go. And I'm gonna give you. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday. Is the eight two. Eight two.
Okay. Save. All right. Now go ahead and click the black areas. There we go. Um, so click that X right there where it says re webinar registration, the X on the right hand side. There's an X. No. Oh, the X. Okay. Yes. Now upload photo, click photo at the top. Photo. There we go. Upload. Can't miss her. She's right there. Eight, two, sixteen. Fifth row, second one down. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth row, second one down. Oh, done. <laughs> and go ahead and click open. Poof. And take all right before we publish, where it says reveal all of this. This week on the weekly training webinar, take away MLSP. Just the, the four letters, not everything, just the four letters, MLSP. Oh, okay. And let me just, how different did your business look? What is a figure just told you exactly what you will say? Wednesday at nine, duh, 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 duh. Perfect. You go ahead and publish that. Nice, right? People are going to be so jelly of you. <laughs> they are. They're going to be like peanut butter and jelly. So don't forget to share that tomorrow as well. Actually, pin that post. Go over to the right and pin that post. Drop that. Scroll up. On the right-hand side, that little drop-down menu. No, over here, inside the post. Yeah, pin that post. And don't forget to share that onto your personal page on Wednesday in the AM. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Do you like your picture? Yes. It's oh. pretty fancy. And look, it's the same font I always pick for you. What's going on with that? It's the franchise font again. I always use franchise font with you. I did not realize it until now. Okay, let me go get the brat now that I've done making artwork. Addison's not interested in going out. I'm making homemade sauerkraut, Jill. Oh, get out of here. I am. I got two jars that are fermenting on my shelf right now. The reason I said get out of here is where'd you go? Water alone, you have your own water. Thank you. Yeah, I have two. This is the first one. You can see it. Mm -hmm. And then this one, this one's going to need some extra scraping. Mm -hmm. Sauerkraut! I'm weeping myself. So the reason I said get out of here is I, I'm in the process of making the cabbage right now. I'm really into cabbage right now. Hmm? What, what are you making? Boiled cabbage. See? And I just I had that for dinner the other night. I love it. Yeah. 
I love cabbage. I got some from, um, what is it, Thrive Market? I got some some good um, bacon fat. And so now cabbage is so much better now that I'm on high fat, low carb. Because <laughs> I can put fat with everything. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I-, I love cabbage. Cabbage is great. I can do it anyway. Yep. It's also, uh, I remember a few years ago, the girls used to use it as a, a low carb alternative to pasta if you shred it really thin. I'm like, what? I never got into it that way, but I've seen it done. <laughs> so that's a pretty cool, that's a pretty cool picture. That's going to work. Yeah, I like that. Super fresh. I totally stole it. I hope Ray Higdon doesn't, you know, get mad at me. Or whoever took the picture, because it's like, he like shared it. Like, my wife is so awesome. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to take that and I'm going to clip her out of all that background. I'm going to put her on everything I want to put her on. (laughs) But that's what you get for being famous. Mm -hmm. Good thing. And I think that they're going to be, I wonder if they're going to be selling that course in our, they might be. I don't know. Because I know she's selling this course. She's relaunched it. It's possible they're going to sell it as an MLSP course, Mm -hmm. which is great. Even better. But look at you. Look at you go. 341 reach. That's fantastic. Three learn mores. That means three people have clicked that learn more button this week. That's very good. Very, very cool. Very cool. You know who, um, I don't know what's up with this Mark Harbor. I'm glad I, I got, I became an affiliate of his for, cause he was having that big launch. And I was so excited for him. Who's that? Mark Harbor. Yeah. But then I, I didn't sell any, so I didn't really too worry. I didn't really promote it that much because I was like, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. I kind of came in late for it. And uh, I just got an email from him, you know, because he's like, oh, don't worry, affiliates. I am paying you guys. I'll be paying you guys before, you know, the first week of August. I'm like, you mean you haven't paid these people yet? You made $100,000 in one day and you couldn't manage to get your affiliates paid yet? Mm. What the f- Yeah, what the hell? I mean, I know you have to wait until there is that, the, um, the return time. Mm-hmm. You, you can't, because then you, you just don't know what, you know? Mm-hmm. That, that, it should have been like the day, that, like right away, like, I don't know. Well, that was one of the weird things about that affiliate is that nobody knew what the commission was, how, you know, if it was 50% or what. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad I wasn't too worried about it. This 47 day response time, how often do they update that? I'm not sure. Cause I thought you had it down to three days. Well, I think that was on my other one. Mm-hmm. Your other one? On my Jill Clunk thing. I don't know. Because, all you know, I thought I had it down to three days, and all of a sudden it's 47 days pop back up again. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know why it's doing that, because I could have sworn you had it down to... <clears throat> I didn't. It was for a very brief moment. I don't know. It's... Hmm. Huh. I don't, I'm not sure what that's about. I just say keep doing what you're doing and yeah. what are you going to do? I mean, I just keep slamming it, you know. Yeah, you got, I mean, you're, you're doing your thing. Yeah. It doesn't seem like very many people from the Facebook, Facebook, uh, Biz exchange or whatever, biz or commenting, just Sherry James. What's up with that? Oh, it's going to be mania. It's going to be crazy this week. I'm telling you. I'm not that much of a, a hard, 
a hard person in that group, but everyone knows I'm away. They're going to take advantage of it. Yeah. It's going to be tough. That's all right. At least Sherry James is Sherry, and she's easy to communicate with. I love her page. So my mom said, she's like, are we going to be changing groups while you're gone? I said, if I get in front of a computer, I will, but probably not. I probably just put people in park and make them smaller. And she's like, I'm like, why? Who would you like not to be in the same group with? <laughs> and she's like, please, I don't want to be in the group with Alicia Stringer. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and Alicia Stringer, there's nothing wrong with her, but it's just weird. And I, I know what she's talking about. It can be like, I don't know. A little bit boring. And she uses a lot of old content, man. It drives me crazy. It's one thing to reuse content, but somebody, so many blog posts that are like five years old, it's like, come on now. Okay. That even looks good in the little picture there. The boost. Yeah, it's, it's very cheery. Yeah. Those are her colors. She likes blue and orange a lot. So I figured let's use them. Mm -hmm. right, cool. Thank you. Woot woot. Someday I'll get that master. Oh yeah, but don't don't rush into it because you'll get lost in it. No, oh, I know. It's it's really simple stuff. Well, you notice, like uh, folks like Aaron Aaron Birch, mm -hmm. they always use the the very first. She always uses like the very first font that's available, the default font, and that's it. Mm. She doesn't get in depth with anything. You know, <laughs> she just puts a picture. In it, but I'm. I, I really like things. I, I don't know. I'm a Libra. I, there's nothing I can do about it. Everything's got to be pretty. Maybe I'll catch a tan. I'm noticing tonight that I'm awfully pasty. Mm -hmm. Golly. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I will be, I'm leaving tomorrow. I guess she's coming in the early afternoon. Yeah. And I'll be on the East Coast, but I won't have a computer. That's fine. But I'll have my phone. And if you need me or anything like that, make sure you send me an email. Because mm -hmm. I'll be checking that regular. Mm -hmm. Or, te or te you know my number. You can text me. Yeah. But an email just in case it's um, like I'm not in service or something. Yeah. Because I have no idea what the service is going to be like out there. That's pretty cool. All right. Will you have a good time? I will. I will indeed. Okay, but I'm determined to get them back about the same time. Yeah. And you have fun, too. Yeah, it's a reunion, right? Yeah, we're leaving on Thursday morning, oh, dark 30, like 4 o'clock in the morning. Nice. And we'll be back on Sunday afternoon. That's a short trip. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, well. Got to do what you got to do. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, it's good. Okay. That's great. All right, you have a good time. All right, you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.